What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive, and of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs, day number 1352 coming at you. Hope you're all having a great one out there. Uh, if you drive for any of the apps in the gig economy like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you're in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. Get started right now with that free red subscribe button down below. Give it a quick tap. Turn on that little notification bell to the right and set it to all so you're always notified every time I make a new video. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And let's see if we can get 150. All right, let's jump into the email, Triple Indie style. All right, so this comes from Stephanie. So everyone say thank you, Stephanie, in the chat or the comments. And this is outrageous, but can't make it up. Stephanie says, hi, Pete. I was hoping you could give me some advice on how to handle a wrongful deactivation by DoorDash. On January 29th of 2021, so keep in mind, this is a while back, I signed up to be a Dasher for DoorDash. Upon attempting to accept my very first order, the app allowed me to accept the order and then immediately within seconds, my account was deactivated on the first order. I was never able to actually complete my first order. I checked my email and DoorDash had sent me uh, so an email stating that my account had been deactivated due to fraudulently completing orders that were not actually done. We know about the fraud, but what is this about? It's impossible. On the first order, she didn't get to complete it? I don't even know how this is possible since I was never able to do any orders. I replied to the email approximately nine or more times since then trying to get the account reactivated to which I got no response. <clears throat> I have called in and have been given multiple case numbers by agents advising that they could see that I had never done an order and advising that they would escalate the matter. One agent told me that there was an issue with my email address, so I updated my email via the computer like the forum directs. I finally got an email stating that they had no appeal request on file. So I called in again and was told the matter would be escalated. I then received an email two days later stating that DoorDash had validated their reason for my deactivation and that it would stand with no details as to what was validated. I attempted once more to call today to get the matter resolved, but this time when I called in, when I called in, no matter how many times I called, I would get a message that stated, let us look up your account. And then it would get, go to a message stating, Q at capacity, please try again later, and it hung up on me. I felt like my number was blocked, so I called immediately and was told by that agent that she could not tell why I was deactivated and to just try to and just try the appeal process again now for the 10th time. It's very frustrating that they deactivated my account like this and won't give me any answers and now appear to have blocked my number so that I can't even call to get support. This has been ongoing for over six months now. I'm happy to, to forward you copies of the emails, including the deactivation email and its final response, as well as copies of the case numbers that were created when I would call in. Please make a video about this, as I believe this is sort of some sort of discrimination. Stephanie. First time hearing about this, okay? I know about the fraudulent deactivations from customers saying, oh, I never got my order, and then the driver gets screwed. But what doesn't make sense is you said, you accepted your very first order on the app and then immediately within seconds your account was deactivated it's like you did you even get a chance to pick up the food like at what point like it just seems like you went online accepted the offer and then boom within seconds you were deactivated the only thing that i can think of that happened is that the customer was waiting for you to accept the order and then immediately somehow went into the help section and said, oh, I never received my order, and then they dinged you for it immediately, okay? Provided that, obviously, you're, I'm assuming you're telling the truth and nothing but, you know, not hiding anything. Again, I don't know you, Stephanie, personally, um, but I'm assuming this is all accurate information. Uh, it makes no sense. And the fact that you keep contacting DoorDash and they're giving you the runaround, the runaround, the runaround, I, I just, what I think is happening is because there are so many claims of fraud, they can't tell what's real and what's not. So anytime someone, a dasher gets marked as fraud on an order, they just, they wipe their hands of it and they're like, we want nothing to do with it. Um, 
the only thing I'm going to tell you right now is it seems like it, it is pretty final and it doesn't make any sense. It is not fair to you. I'm telling you that straight up right now. It is not fair. Um, I'm going to tell you, if you're not already, diversify, get on Grubhub, get on Uber Eats. If you are already, then you're already a step ahead. Uh, definitely get on those other two and work with those in the meantime. Um, but I'll tell you right now, this, this is ridiculous, man. I'm not going to tell you to try and create another account because that can lead to more issues. Some people have had uh, success with it. Others have had failure with creating another account when they get deactivated. I'm not here telling you to do that. Um, because again, there are issues with that as well. Um, but this sounds like the customer did you in somehow and DoorDash just, like I said, they get so many fraud cases. They just probably tell all their agents. If, if any driver calls about getting reactivated for fraud, just deny them. That's my guess. This is my opinion. I don't work for DoorDash. I'm not sure the ins and outs of that, but this is a hundred percent not fair. And I'm just curious, everyone that's watching right now in the chat or the comments down below, have you heard of this? Have you ever been able to fix this issue and get reactivated? I'm sure Stephanie would appreciate any information down below. Uh, so Stephanie, I hope you figure this out. What I would say is wait a few days and then keep trying to continue to get in contact with somebody. Cause you know what, as long as you're being respectful, you know, you might get in touch with the right department and they may be able to reactivate you. But otherwise it, it, it sounds pretty final. And again, it is not fair to you. I know that's probably not the answer you wanted to hear, but that's what it sounds like. So I wish you the best, Stephanie. Keep, please keep me updated if you can. Uh, and if anybody ever wants to send me anything, send it to paid2drivestories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. Or you can message me on Patreon over at uh, on the Patreon app or at patreon.com slash paid2drive. Link is in the description or in the pin top comment. Also, as a perk, I shout all of you out in new videos. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilan, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you. So if you want to sign up on there, links in the description down below. And also everybody, start saving money on your gas with the Get Upside Gas app. That's right. Link is in the description down below. Download that first, that's your first step. The next thing is drive to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description. Make sure to download it. And of course, get all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies over at paytodrivestore.com. Lots of different designs, colors, sizes, everything's on sale. paytodrivestore.com, links down below. Make sure to go check it out. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying END414, E-N-D, 414 in the chat or the comments. Let's me know you made it to the end. Thank you, by the way. Get started right now today. Hit that free red subscribe button and tap the notification bell to the right so you're always notified when I post something new. And of course, be sure to hit that like button on your way out. Really appreciate it. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. Be well, drive safe, and we'll see you on the next one.